coffee will keep you awake. This will wake you up. Oh my God, it's a strange, this is the strangest thing. My mind's kind of blown a little bit by this. I drink decaf because I don't believe in myself. I'm so sophisticated, oh my God. Ooh, ooh. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Tools of the Trade. My name is Jonathan. Noodle, once again, is present and accounted for, but you will not see him because he is a sleepy pea in a slumber pod. This week we're featuring two entrepreneurs, Graham Gould and Louis Abruzzesi, who have created a drink called Drink Vivic. This is a sparkling coffee drink that comes in three different flavors. It comes in the traditional coffee flavor, then you've got a sarsaparilla flavor, which is, they said it tastes more like a root beer, so maybe like a kind of like a gingery sort of flavor. And then they've got a lavender one, so it's a little more floral. So a little more backstory on these guys. So Graham was a barista. He knew that he wanted to create uh, a better flavored coffee, something that wasn't just like the run of the mill drinks that these you know large coffee chains were, were creating. He wanted to do something that was really gonna amplify and help sort of caress these coffee flavors. Enter Lewis, who was a head chef at this really fancy restaurant in Sonoma. He was trying to think of different ways to stay awake and cool while cooking in the kitchen. So when these two connected, uh, I think it was just kind of like uh, uh, the stars aligned and they created this beverage that I really hope is in this box because I want to try it, but I have no idea. So without further ado, Noodle, how are you doing? He just did a little twitch because he's dreaming. It's so sweet. So we're gonna open this box and see what's inside. All right, so uh, first things first, the moleskin. So I think this is something that's uh, super important for any, any business owner, any entrepreneur, anyone. If you are an artist, if you are a industry professional, if you, have a, if you have a salary job, if you're an entrepreneur, whatever it is, having one of these is so important. You can, obviously you, you can kind of do whatever you want with it, but I love using mine for calendars, for sketching dates, for writing notes, just like little ideas. And I can imagine that both of these guys have a little moleskin down for either trying to remember recipes that they're formulated, uh, either when they're doing focus groups or trying to gather feedback from people. This is a really important item for anyone to have under any circumstances at any time. If Chris just punched me across the face and I hit my head and I was down for a count, I wouldn't call for a doctor. I wouldn't call for medicine. I'd call for a moleskin. So the next item we've got in uh, the Vivic box, the drink Vivic box, the Vivic box is the super taster test. And I'm going to find out what it is by opening this envelope. I wonder if this is gonna tell me how sophisticated my palate is. I wonder if this is something that's gonna be like, ooh, you can taste things, or it's gonna be like, you are, you suck. Oh yeah, oh my God. Place one test strip on your tongue. After a few seconds, remove the strip from your mouth. Note how the paper tastes. Super tasters will find the paper bitter. Tasters will detect a mildly bitter and bland taste, and non-tasters will taste nothing. There are two strips, you're doing it with me. What if you're a super, ta if you're a super taster and I'm a normal taster, you're unfortunately gonna have to loot. Really bitter. I think this is, this is pretty bitter. Ugh. I want this to be more bitter for me. I need to have a better palate than you do. But you look like you're in like real visceral pain and I'm just like, this kind of sucks. Oh wait, I actually hate this too. I have such a sophisticated palate. I'm so sophisticated, oh my god. Ooh, ooh. Super tasters tend to dislike strong, bitter foods like raw broccoli, grapefruit juice, coffee, and dark chocolate. Oh, I like a lot of that stuff too, but I actually do not like grapefruit juice and I do not like dark chocolate. And research indicates that non-tasters may have a greater preference for alcohol and consume more alcoholic beverages. Yeah, if you don't, if you're not a taster, it means you're garbage, which means you have to throw yourself to alcohol. That makes perfect sense to me. Unfortunately, this is a hierarchical set. This is how we have to divide our society up from here on out. Okay, the next thing we've got in here, oh, I, that was, ugh, is a V6 dripper. Okay, so this is just like a drip, uh, a drip coffee thing for all of you. Like I have the, <laughs> like a $10 percolator because I drink decaf because I don't believe in myself. But for those of you who have like fancy coffee or drink really nice coffee beans, like when I'm in Rochester visiting my family, there's a really nice coffee roaster we go to and like that's a nicer flavor. Um, but this is something, it's just a way to make coffee. It's like a way to make coffee that's not percolating and it's the, it, the, the way that 
and I've never done this, but from what I know, it's like the way to preserve the most coffee flavor. And it's the one that's gonna let you like taste the bean the most. And I'm, I would assume that this is probably the one that they use. This might be the one that they use when they're taste testing. It's made in Japan, which makes me think that it's the best of the best. So I'm just gonna say that it is. Okay, so this is an item I pulled out. I don't know what it is. Um, it's a, called Gok. This is an A that has two accents on it, and I did not think that there was any language that accepted it, but I'm gonna say this is called Gok. Oh, oh, ha ha! Gok is a bright orange prickly melon found only in Southeast Asia. So this is not like a caffeinated, this is just like a drink that they like to drink. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh, it smells, okay. I'm using my, I'm using my super nose. <laughs> using for my, the, the second part of my palate. I do not dislike this. It's a flavor that I have yet to encounter in my life. This is actually quite good. This is growing on me. It has like a, it's like very, it's, it's fruity. Um, but it also kind of, it's like a melon. Like it tastes like your, it tastes like a melon. So it has like kind of like that, like a weird like honeydew flavor to it. So I'm gonna leave this to the side so I can finish this and be gorgeous. Um, the next item, <laughs> this I really enjoy. Ooh, this is actually good tequila too. So a lot of people, Here's the problem, and I'll let you know what the problem is. This is American Agave Tequila. I bet these two just like drinking tequila. I don't think there's a secret here. I bet they're business partners that make a product that they really love. They say that the people who try this product are usually so, they love it, they're excited by it, and I bet they have a really good time doing what they do, and I bet they like drinking because they enjoy themselves. Or when you need something a little stronger. Yeah, when you need something a little stronger. Like, coffee will keep you awake. This will wake you up, you know what I mean? Bam. Okay, the last item we've got is a drink. I actually can't wait to try this. I'm so excited to try this. And I don't like, I don't drink coffee because caffeine drives me absolutely nuts, but I'm totally down to risk it for this. So again, this is their product. This is a raspberry flavor, which I think is really cool because in a, the, we filmed them for our icon series. So there's a lar there's a longer video on them if you're interested in more on our YouTube channel. Um, and they talk about how coffee beans or certain coffee beans can have like raspberry notes to them. So it makes sense that they would make like a raspberry flavored one of these guys. Oh wow, it is, it's just like a fizzy coffee drink. Oh wow. Oh my God, it's a strange, this is the strangest thing. It tastes like coffee and it tastes like a raspberry, almost like a tea. Oh my God, this is, this is actually quite good. This is quite good. The label's really pretty too. I don't know who designed this label, but whoever did, I really like the, the way they drew the raspberries on here it looks really nice. Um, ethically sourced direct trade coffee from El Salvador combined with organic raspberry juice for the perfect pairing. I think they really nailed it. I don't think they're wrong on that. This was so good. And I bet, you know what I bet? I bet these guys have all three of these in one day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. I am really, I'm always blown away. Oh my God, he got here. He ran up those stairs. Go, go ahead. Chris is gonna go get our Italian food. But what I'm so blown away by by these guys is there are iced coffee drinks, there are cold coffee drinks, there are huge coffee chains. Like this is a market that I think a lot of people would be like, I don't need to dive head first into coffee, but they love it so much. They love the flavor of this and the really good quality coffee beans. And the fact that they were able to take that and turn it into such a unique product that people are so into and they really, really enjoy, I think speaks so, so deeply to their passion for what they do and just like the real benefits of being an entrepreneur. I think it's really, really spectacular. Uh, so if you liked this video and you wanna see more like it, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can see all the stuff that we film. And don't forget to ring the bell so you can get notifications so that you'll never be without us um, whenever we post a new video, whether it's a new tools video or another series that GoDaddy does. So for myself, for this amazing product and for Noodle, who again, you did not see this week, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna go eat lunch.